Okay, in this segment we will be looking at change of base for logarithms, problem type 2 in Alex College Algebra. Now notice here that we have a rather complex expression, more so than the type 1 problems. And of course what we want to do here is to solve for x in this very complicated looking logarithmic expression. So let's go over here to our notes and begin working on the problem. Now the first thing that we would want to do, as we've done many times before, is to simply take this logarithmic form and change it into an exponential form. Because here we have a logarithm, logarithm to the base of 3, and notice that that logarithm is 12. So what I'm going to do first is simply write a step 3 to the 12th, and of course that is equal to 19 raised to the x plus third power. So my very first step is just simply the very uh, very move we learned first, and that is to change a logarithmic form to an exponential form. Now since that we have exponents on both sides of the equation now, we're going to be able to bring those down quickly now by using the third law of logarithms, which uh, if we take the logarithm to base 10 of both sides, as we've done before. We're going to, of course, in a later step, be able to bring these powers down in front. So once again, the next move here is to take the log of both sides. So we'll have 3 to the 12th. We'll have 19 to the x plus 3. Okay. Now, applying that third rule says we can bring these powers down front. So we're going to have 12 times the log of 3 and that that is equal to, now be careful here because we're going to bring this entire exponent down, that's going to be x plus 3, and I'm going to carry that in parentheses, log of 19. Now we'll see the need for that here in a second, but uh, when you bring this exponent down front here that's a kind of a binomial, you're going to want to keep that in parentheses. Because in the next step, what we're going to need to do is to distribute this out. In order to separate this x from um, other pieces of the problem, we need to distribute in here. So on this right-hand side, we will have x log 19 plus 3 log 19. And then we'll have 12 log 3. So again, let's take a look at that. Notice here we're trying to get the x sorted out from everything else. So now that we uh, have done this step, now we can move this term to the other side. Once again, begin to isolate more and more of that x term that we want. So we will have 12 log 3 minus 3 log 19 equals x log 19. Okay, now we're about there. We're going to want to get the x by itself, so we simply want to divide now both sides by log 19. So our final answer that we're going to uh, have here is 12 log 3 minus 3 log 19 divided by log 19 equals x. And they want us now to evaluate this expression we need to use a calculator for that, of course. You can use the calculator that's in Alex, but I think in this case it would probably be just as convenient to use my TI-30XS, maybe more so. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll turn the calculator on. And once again, I like this calculator because you merely make the uh, calculator display look exactly like what we have here on paper. So 12... Uh, log 3 minus 3 log 19. Okay, on the bottom we'll have log 19. And so the worst mistake that we can make is simply enter something wrong. But it appears that we have successfully done that. Let's calculate. We get an answer. 
1.477 and now we want to uh, see what Alex wants here for rounding three decimal places so 1.477 should do it let's check and see if Alex is happy this is change of base for logarithms problem type 2 in Alex Algebra